Hey, what's going on? My name is Harrison, and this is going to be an Unreal Engine 4 C++ tutorial on um, camera shakes. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's look at the final product right now. Push play. So we're going to trigger this camera shake on fire. So every time we fire the gun, we are dancing out a little bit. So let's get out of that. Let me delete this from my game code and recreate it in C++. Um, again, you should never have to watch the videos. There should be a GitHub link down in the description below. So if you just want to grab the code and move along, you definitely can. But if not, let's continue with the video. All right. So right click, new class, um, show all classes, camera shake, I'm uh, search for camera shake, camera shake. It's going to be called my camera shake. Okay, awesome. The engine just uh, compiled my class. Now let's go ahead and get it started. Uh, so this is going to be my camera shake CBP file. Let's jump into the header file. Um, we're going to want to get the constructor, make that public. <clears throat> my camera shake. That's it for the header file. Let's jump into the CPP file. This is where we're going to set our default values. Oscillation duration. Again, you can set these to whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to do some quick ones right now. I'm getting all these values from the documentation. Um, I'll have this link down in the description below, but from the U camera shake class itself, we have all these things we can kind of pull from and they kind of just do different things for our shaky motions. So let me fill out these values real quick. Oscillation, blend in time. Oscillation, blend out time. Rot, oscillation, dot pitch, dot amplitude, amplitude. Let's go, all right. um, and we're gonna make this random so it's not the same every time but again choose whatever values you values you decide you want Get some floats in there. And we're going to do the same thing with the yaw value. So I just did the pitch. So now let's do the yaw. Okay, I'm going to compile that just to make sure I have a working build, or at least for that class. And then we'll add it to the player class, and then we should be able to move forward. All right, that compile was successful. Let's jump into the player's, the player character header file. Where is it? Uh, I'm in CPP touch character header file. Uh, down below, pretty much wherever you want, but I'm just gonna add it to this section right here in the public section. Section to a U property. Edit anywhere. Oops. And we're gonna do a T subclass of you camera component no you camera shake i'm just gonna call it my shake let me make sure that i have the pointer correctly set i always get confused uh yeah all right so we're not using a pointer for this one all right save that jump to the character cpp file and i'm just gonna go right into the on fire function and so when we're checking if an anim instance is not null, let's also check to see if the camera shake is not null either. So I called it my shake, and if that does not equal null, then we'll proceed. Uh, now we're going to want to get this. So this uh, function is ran from the controller, so it's going to be git world 
get first player controller. Uh, let me check the function. Uh, so it's play, so it's played from the player controller. Uh, the player, the camera manager, I believe, plays the final function though. Uh, player camera manager. And now we're doing the play camera shake. And it's going to be my shake. And the scale is going to be one. Let's compile, see if we have any errors. All right, I messed up somewhere. It'll be an easy fix though. Syntax error. Um, I'm missing a semicolon somewhere. That's in the header file. Uh, what? Oh, uh, this is uh, all capitals. I always mess that up. My, my fault. Wow. I might have an error in the CPP file as well. All right, I'd probably just have a typo. God. Um, get first player controller. Oh, it's a function. I, uh, yeah. All right, now we should be good. Let's compile. All right, my fault. All right. Uh, so now you're gonna want to go into to the player himself. You can just search through the components and look for my shake because that's what we called it. Right now it's set to none, and look for your camera shake. I have a the test one, and I have the one we just created. So set that play. And right now I'm not getting anything. That's something that happens with the engine when I make uh, edits to the character. I have to restart the editor, so I'm just gonna save all and restart. So I'm not sure if you're gonna get the same error or not. But I just run into it all the time. Like if I do something, uh, like anytime I change something with the character, I usually have to restart the editor. So it's whatever. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one.